Good day everyone, my name is Roman and today in this video I want to show you how I created a logo generator app using Python Flask and the OpenAI capabilities. So the app looks like this. It has three fields. First one for logo color, second one for brand name and lastly how many proposals you want to generate. Uh, you click generate logo button, uh, get some loading animation and after some time uh, we get respond from OpenAI and uh, can display the pictures. Uh, so we got here uh, uh, some really nice colorful uh, logos and, uh, and I will cover this uh, in the following uh, six uh, points. And let's get started with point number one, OpenAI account and API keys. So for this project to work, uh, you need the API keys. And to get them, you go to OpenAI uh, website, uh, create your account and uh, generate API keys. It's an easy project that takes uh, around 10-15 minutes. And there is a really nice uh, article uh, by Chris that describe uh, really step by step uh, how to do it. Uh, moving on to the next point, uh, image creating API. Uh, so you can uh, use uh, uh, this uh, Python script to play with uh, OpenAI API. Uh, first of all, you put uh, in this line your API key uh, here you should uh, think about a prompt that describes a picture you want to generate. For example, a logo for fast delivery, delivery service uh, company. And lastly, uh, open AI image request looks like this. Uh, prompt number of uh, pictures uh, to be generated and uh, uh, picture size. Uh, when you execute this uh, script, uh, in the end it prints a uh, response uh, from OpenAI. Uh, it looks like this, a simple JSON uh, with URL to get your pictures. Next I want to discuss uh, tools and requirements. Uh, I was using uh, PyCharm Community Edition. Uh, you need to set up uh, a basic uh, Python environment and in the requirements.txt file uh, you can see the libraries required uh, for this project to work uh, Flask, OpenAI, Python.env uh, This library you need for .environment files uh, It contains uh, location of uh, Flask app and here you need to, uh, to put your API key. Uh, here you can see it's uh, the standard Flask uh, folder structure with static and uh, templates. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next point, uh, frontend. Uh, the frontend uh, consists of uh, two files, index.html and style.css. In the HTML file, I define the form with uh, three uh, fields, color, uh, text number and uh, generate logo uh, submit button. Uh, on click, I run this uh, loading function. It's a simple JavaScript uh, that uh, shows uh, loading animation. Uh, here is a Jinja template, uh, the dynamic part uh, of a page. So if a result variable present, I generate uh, image uh, text with uh, URL for the pictures uh, I get from OpenAI. And lastly, there is a diff tag for a loading class. 
in the CSS file, uh, I put uh, the some uh, basic uh, styling. Uh, here you can see uh, that if user hover over the submit button, uh, it changes uh, color to make uh, the page look uh, more inter interactive. Uh, here the uh, setup for uh, result class and here for loading class. Uh, now for the backend uh, part, uh, uh, it's uh, only one file app.py. In the beginning, uh, uh, I import uh, libraries OpenAI, Flask. After it. Uh, get uh, OpenAI API key from uh, environment uh, variable and uh, for this project I need only one endpoint that I define here with uh, OpenAI app function so if uh, request met method uh, post uh, I get from the form uh, the text, color, and number uh, that I used to uh, create the open, uh, OpenAI image uh, request. I use the generate prompt uh, function to, uh, to create a prompt using text and color. Uh, I limit uh, the number of uh, pictures to generate uh, by five. Otherwise, the user get, uh, can use a big number and uh, this uh, request will be very costly. Uh, define the size of picture and lastly, uh, I call for render template function uh, passing the response uh, from OpenAI. Uh, lastly, I want to uh, show how to run this uh, app locally. Uh, I go to the ID, uh, to the terminal, uh, type uh, Python uh, 3 and uh, tell to the interpreter uh, the location of uh, app.py file and uh, we have our Flask server up running on this IP address. Uh, let's uh, try different uh, settings. Uh, one proposal, generate logo. And after some time, uh, we get this uh, nice logo from OpenAI. So, uh, this is uh, all uh, about the project. I remind you, uh, don't put your secret key in the public repository, otherwise it will leak and you will need to change it. I hope this uh, video was uh, useful and informative and enjoy your day.